Hey everybody, I'm Jareth. And I'm Todd. And we're from Reap What You Sow. We were tagged in a, colla a <laughs> collaboration. <laughs> you got it. We, we slacking, y'all. Forgive us. Don't, don't mutilate us, but we slacking. We got so much going on. It's hard to get them all done. But we was tagged in by K&A Family. So if y'all haven't checked them out, y'all go show them some love. And y'all make sure y'all tell them, reap what you sow did their collaboration. Finally. It, yes, finally. <laughs> Sorry it took us so long. It's five garden tips in five minutes. Now, you know we long-winded people from the south, so we're going to try to get it in five minutes. No, you're long-winded. I don't know. You long-winded too, Jeffrey. No. Yeah. Okay. So... Number five, what do you want to let everybody need to know about the garden tips? We're going to start with number five. I got first. number one. You got number five. Well, we're not going for five to one. Yeah. Number five, the number five thing, which I think it should be up a little bit, but he's the one time we put it at number five, so I'm blaming everything on him. Number five is know what zone you live in. And also, I'm doing two with number five. Hold your okay. horses. Num and number five. I'm still on number five. I told you I'm long-winded. And know the pest in your area. Because we might be dealing with some type of bug that you're not dealing with over there at your homestead. So you need to know how you're going to take care of them. That's number right. four. I don't know we got doing. five minutes. You some things, baby. We got them five got number garden one. tips. That's number one is so you tell me I gotta do all of them? Y'all see yeah. what I deal with? You cut this out, I'm a steak. <laughs> so number four. Number four. This is important here, number four. So stay ahead of the weeds in your garden. Make sure you're pulling that grass out because of the fact that those weeds will pull the nutrients from your plants and your plants are not going to get fed like they should because the weeds is eating them all. So stay ahead of the weeds is number four. The ground cover helps out a lot and so does the raised beds because it's a lot easier to get it out of. Well, not everybody can have raised beds. You look here. If you're planting in totes and you're making your own compost, you're going to have some weeds pop up in there. You still got to stay ahead of it. Pull those weeds out. Do not allow them to take the nutrients from your plant. I'm talking to myself. <laughs> Number three. Number three, you can answer this. When's the best time? Right. When's the best time to water the garden? Do in I go the mornings? In the mornings. Why? Why can't I go water the garden at twelve o'clock when it's warm? Because warmer? when the sun comes out, you're gonna burn it up. I'm gonna burn them up if I water them at twelve o'clock. Yeah, you can't sleep in every day. You gotta get up early and water your well, garden. Well, what you talking about? Water it in the morning, getting up early. What's your early? Before its sun comes out. Before the sun or... comes out and it gets bright, and water from the ground. Don't. Sprinkle over the top of it. Oh, you know what else I wanted to ask you? You remember last season mm -hmm. when I had my uh, cauliflower over there and I went out there during the day and sprayed them with that neem oil? Mm -hmm. Yep, it will burn them up. And they went It'll burn it up. Fried them. When that sun's out bright and you put neem oil on it, it'll, it'll eat them up. You gotta do it early or late in the evening. Your plants is just like your skin. If you slather up with some olive oil or some baby oil and you go on out there in that sun, it blisters you. You spray that neem oil on them plants during the day, I learned it blister them. It'll kill them. It what? Blister them. <laughs> See what I got to put up with? <laughs> number two. Number two. You can answer this. Uh, let you, me look at you what you got wrote down. I can't see it. How am I going to get my plants to grow? I got my plants. I plant got, food. Plant food. You got to fertilize it. Well, what I'm fertilizing with? Triple 13 organic fertilizer? Well, if you're trying to go organic, if you're going organic, you got to find something organic. Well, what's organic? Uh, rabbit manure. Oh, rabbit manure. Chicken manure. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask stuff. you. That's what I was going to ask you. 
All right. One day, if you're not here, and I look after my garden, and I see it needs to be fertilized. It needs some food to be fed. So I can go clean out my chicken house and take that straight out there and dump it on my garden? Nope. Why not? Because it's too strong. You got to use your rabbit pellets or your goat manure. You can put it on straight. Not chicken so you'll burn it up. So when will I be able to use my chicken food? After you compost it. Okay. So y'all heard that? Don't go clean out the hen house and take that organic fertilizer and dump it on out there on your plants because you can burn them up. It's very high in nitrogen and you will burn them up. Works great, but you gotta let it sit a while. Alright, number one. I know this one. I'm getting ready to plant my garden. What do I need to have ready to Your plant my garden? Your compost needs to be ready. Best time to start that's in the fall. Let it sit all winter long. Your old leaves, anything in your compost is great. I mean, as far as your leaves, even your green grass when you cut during the summer, all that is compost. Anything broken down works great. Any kind of manure, your chicken manure, your rabbit manure, mix all that up, make you a big pile. Put that in your garden, and you're gonna see your garden do some things. You think it's gonna grow good? Especially when you add that stuff in there. Mm -hmm. What's that stuff called? That fertilizer? Yes, sir. Organic fertilizer. What is it, natural? I'm gonna tell you right now, y'all said, Willow's poop is gold, baby. <laughs> Willow spoiled. Willow and Peachy is, spoiled too. Willow and Peachy is princess. That's why Kelly named that Will, uh, Peachy Princess Peach. Hey, That's what her name is. Five minutes. Five ago. minutes. I told y'all I'm long winded. Wait, I'm still talking, guys. Before we close this video out, y'all are gonna be watching this video on Monday, January the thirteenth, twenty twenty, and. on my birthday, people. ESPN at 7 o'clock. Check them Tigers out. Go Tigers. Go Tigers. Y'all go check out the uh, video we put up what was it, yesterday. Oh, the greenhouse. The greenhouse video. Check it out, y'all. That's a beautiful good. greenhouse. He did a good job. We Made can go Mama happy. five minutes. Five minutes is up. We gotta go. Has it been five minutes? I don't know. I ain't got no clock. We love y'all guys. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all. Love y'all. God bless. Bye-bye.